Capricorns! Welcome to your love reading July 5th to the 14th. I am splitting... So what I'm doing with your readings, Earth Signs, because, you know, you guys know how the week was. <laughs> Y'all know how the week was for light workers, myself included. Um, and I have taken a couple days off, but I really needed it, guys. Like, I really needed it. And I'm feeling a lot better. Need a little bit more rest time. But anyway, neither here nor there. So I'm, what I'm basically doing is I'm aggregating your readings all the way up to the 21st. But then I'm splitting it down the middle that way. Because I'm a math nerd and I got a little Libra in me and it needs to be fair. So... <laughs> So that's how I'm doing it. So your readings are going to be the 5th to the 14th, and then you're going to get a second reading from the 15th to the 21st uh, later on down the line, okay? So Capricorns, oh my god. I started, I wanted to start with Taurus, to be honest with you, just like to go in order of the earth signs, because like, Taurus is the first earth sign. But Capricorn, a lot of you, I mean, first of all, a lot of you have been asking for the earth sign readings, but Capricorns, you especially were asking me more so than the other earth signs. So I figured something must be going on with Capricorns. And something clearly is, all right? So the first thing I heard was boiling point. Mm-hmm. And then they started showing me flashes from um, um, a movie that, like, a movie I haven't seen in a long time called Buffalo Soldiers with Joaquin Phoenix. If any, if any of you have ever seen it, oh, my God, or if you haven't seen it, you got to see it. It's a, it's a great movie. It's an amazing movie. Not to mention, I'm a little biased. I'm a Joaquin Phoenix fan. Um, but anyway... So in this movie, at least like the message that I think really is hitting home with some of my Capricorns that I'm tapped into. And again, this could also be someone that's connected to you energetically. Um, I had this sense like shit is hitting the fan. Things are falling apart. How do I get out of this with the least amount of like loss is kind of what I was getting here. Um, that's the energy that I, that I was picking up on. And, you know, it's funny because it's almost like you know the ship is going down okay you know and it's like you're playing it smart in your final moments like okay ship is going down and i feel like it is because of a perpetrator of some kind or like one person is like really causing that domino of shit hitting the fan and you already know it's interesting that you already know and i feel like it's someone you've, you've had some issues with some conflict with um even if it hasn't been spoken, I feel like intuitively you picked up that this person's got some shit out for you um, and you know what's coming to a head. So in these final moments, you're like, all right, sh the ship is going down. If we're all going down, how do I play this so that I can still get something out of it? You know, it's like you're going into like preservation mode, which is the thing I love about Capricorns. Like you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart, and I feel like you guys are really great at weathering storms, especially when it comes to, like, business or finance, and I feel like for some of you this is business-related, not just romance-related, because um, it's like, what could be so, like, like being obliterated, right? To me, that says career and business. It could be love, it could be family, but something's hitting the boiling point, you know it's hitting the boiling point, and you already have a plan. <laughs> you already got a plan. <laughs> for self-preservation for yourself which i love i did get a couple other things though capricorn um i was picking up on an energy um of, of ugh, like past skeletons okay they actually showed me a tomb like someone walking through a tomb maybe maybe you are walking through a tomb <laughs> this week or um oh catacombs i just heard catacombs oh that's interesting i don't know what that's about catacombs i don't know too many catacomb situations i know europe has at least one or two catacombs to mention, I don't know if that relates. If it relates to some of you, it relates to some of you, but that's what I'm getting. And it actually feels very scorpionic. Um, you know, it's funny because it's like, I get into the meditative session and it's like, they'll show me things. And then when I come in to talk about it on the video, then they'll start elaborating on it, which I always find is interesting. It's very scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with Scorpio. You could have that in your chart. Yeah, it's almost like just like going through history, going through, oh, thank you timelines that's what this is all right so this is energy that's very indicative of what's already happened because of the eclipse and i mentioned this in one of the videos i did uh yesterday where um that night that shit was going down on the 5d uh the moon was negatively aspecting three major retrograding planets that were basically digging up our karmic wounding from not just this life, but other lives, because it was also aspecting Neptune, which is also retrograding. Um, and, and a Capricorn, I feel like you've been feeling some of that. Like you've been feeling like you've kind of been through the ringer, spiritually or even energetically. And you're wondering why that is. It's because you've been working on your past life stuff in, in the 5D, whether you're aware of that or not. And for some of you, I think that there is a connection to catacombs in Europe for from a past life. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I just saw, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go into what I just saw, actually. Um, oh, they want me to. So when breakouts would happen, when epidemics happen, even, even now, you know, sometimes I still practice this around the world. Um, they kind of just throw bodies in a ditch because they can't keep up with the body count. I just saw that. Um, one of you might have died that way. One of you might have died that way. Interesting. Anyway, let me get out of that. <laughs> let me get out of that. Um, I was also picking up an energy of feeling lost. Um, and specifically, like, you know, in horror movies, it, like, they're always lost in the woods, apparently, in horror movies, right? It's like, you're always running outside, and all of a sudden, you're lost in the woods somewhere, or on a dark road somewhere. Um, that's what they were showing me. Um, Capricorn, some of you, or again, someone you, you may be energetically connected to, might be feeling this way, just feeling so lost, and feeling like, how did I get off track so much? How did I lose my path? How did I lose my path? Oh man, that's that I'm getting a lot of like dark energy, feeling very much like a dark night of the soul. How did I lose my path? How did I lose myself? Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. Oh my god, Capricorns. Okay, let's just get into the pre-shuffle here. Because oh my god, we're six minutes in. Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy, it could be past life, soulmate, karmic energy, page of pentacles. Okay, this must be a past life day. This must be a past life day. Um, I'm getting some really, really heavy stuff. Some really heavy stuff. And it's like, I actually feel very uncomfortable talking about it. Um, there's at least one of you that I'm connected to. And I think you had, you either saw some, I, I think it was in your dreams. I think you either had an experience in your dreams that was really awful, like a really horrible nightmare where you felt like you were being chased down by something. It wasn't just a nightmare, it's a memory, okay? It is a memory. Um, and I do feel it was from a human perpetrator in another life. Long ago, though. Very long ago. Like, let's see if I can get a timeline on this. 13? Thir Whoa, really? Maybe 13th century? Um, I, I just, like, I'm just getting the sense of, like, panic and running and I'm being chased and and then blackness, honestly, I think, you know, you, you know what I'm getting at, you know what I'm getting at, that's for at least one of you, and I feel like it was someone who really wasn't well in the mind, uh, really wasn't well in the mind, I feel like, I don't think you knew them, I feel like it was like a, pass, a passerby situation, um, and as that translates into this life, I think you've had a bit of a fear of, um, of empty spaces, which is kind of interesting. I didn't think that, you know, and when we have past life trauma, it comes through sometimes as different um, fears or uh, what's that word I'm looking for? What's that word I'm looking for? And it's like more than just a fear. It's an irrational fear. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? Ah, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, of, of very open spaces, open spaces. Yeah, almost like um, like you would never take a road trip. You would never take a road trip. You would never go camping. If you were on a road trip with other people, it's like you demanded that you'd never be alone, like going to the restroom or rest stops, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, you've worked through that. You've worked through that in the 5D recently, and you might be feeling very different about it. Anyway, let's get back into this. So we have Page of Pentacles magician which is mercurial energy so uh Vir virgo gemini for me as a reader aquarius scorpio divine masculine energy two of wands in reverse aries energy the tower in reverse scorpionic energy could also be aries because this is mars influence with seven of swords in reverse aquarian energy a lot of aqua energy ace of swords and the five of cups scorpionic energy you got a lot of scorpio and you got a lot of aqua a lot of aqua um but let's get into this so this is definitely something about your someone from your past someone from your past um definitely thinking about you a lot capricorn missing you i'm also getting a sense of watching checking in checking in they're checking in on you i feel like there's been a very long sense of separation this could also be family not just romance but it's feeling like a romantic partner or a long lost friend um something about five something about the number five five years five months i don't think five days feels way longer than that it actually feels more like five years, a five, like a five year split of some kind, but they're watching you. They're definitely watching you, checking in, um, looking for a way to kind of just talk is what I'm getting. I think you're thinking they want a hell, of, a hell of a lot more from you, but they don't. They just want to talk. They just want to talk. And then we have the magician here with two of wands in reverse. Someone's made a choice. Someone's made a choice to try to manifest something with you. 
Wow, Capricorn. I'm actually getting that first. A lot of you, these are two different people. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> You're getting a lot of attention. Um, but that's what I'm getting. It's like one person has decided to try to manifest something big with you. And I'm getting another like long lost friend, lost lover, um, starting to think about you again. Um, but it's been a very long separation, a very long split. You could have known them at a very young age for some of you. Um, for some of you, it is more than just like a five year span. But five was coming in really strong. Still is. Still is. Longing you from afar. Yeah, some of you have two different people going on here. This magician, though. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know about this magician. I'm not loving the energy of this magician. Very calculating person, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, but they're calculating. They're very clever. Oh, they also believe they're very clever. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'd watch out for this magician. I think this person likes to like read up on survival stuff. Yeah, they like to read up on survival stuff. Um, they probably talk about like the apocalypse a lot or world like world conspiracy theories a lot. That's kind of what I'm getting off that magician. But there's something about them where I'm like, they're almost too calculating, you know, almost too much from the headspace. And then we have the tower in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse. Capricorn, I feel like this is the energy I was tapping into before. Uh, for some of you, whatever this situation is with shit hitting the fan and you know it's coming, you're already, like I said, you're already trying to figure out a way to like recoup your loss of like, all right, we're all going down. I'm not going to fall as hard. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not going to fall as hard. Um, others of you, I believe that this tower is connected to this magician. Um, some really shady behavior. Some really shady behavior caused a tower moment between the two of you. Yeah, you don't trust them. Mm. You don't really trust them. I even feel like some of you have created an ener energetic boundary between you and this person. They're very smart. I just, I keep getting like of the mind and I keep seeing all these like synapses. They're really smart. They could even be so smart to the point where, um, you know, I find, and this is not, I'm not saying shit. I'm not talking shit about anybody. But I do find that people who are of very high intelligence, um, are, are really capable um, of manipulating energy very well. I think this person's very capable of that. So I think they probably try to send you energy or telepathically try to send you messages and you try to push them out. Um, but then we have this Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. This is a realization of sadness and loss. And Capricorns, like I said, for those in that boiling point situation where you're like, shit's going down, we're all going down, I'm not going down as hard, you're realizing loss is coming. Um, and you're, you're already preemptively trying to deal with it. Um, others of you, it's regarding this magician. This magician is actually, it's, oh, okay. Okay. This magician, as clever as they are, and as much as they try to stay from the headspace, the rational, um, they're really sad about, <laughs> about you, Capricorn. <laughs> they're really sad. They're really at a loss about you. Even um, a little bit of depression, which is why they've made a choice. They've made a decision to do something about it to do something about it in regards to you. And I do feel it's going to come in the form of an approach. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Oh my God, 13 minutes. Are you serious? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Capricorns, you got some Gemini in you today. What's going on? Only Geminis make me talk. <laughs> Excuse me. Only Geminis make me talk that much. Um, all right, Capricorns. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any... <laughs> Nana Cup, spicy and energy, Capricorn. Okay, I see you. I like that. I'm liking that. You still have your... Okay, Capricorns, I love you. I love you guys so much. Even though some of you, not all of you, some of you are in that sh the ship is going down situation. Others, um, you know that there is this magician kind of coming your way because you can feel them and they're sending you a lot of energy. You are still focused on you. You're still focused on your wish fulfillment, which is beautiful. I love that. Any messages for Capricorns? But still, I'm getting, I'm still getting a lot of that dark, dark energy though, Capricorn. So you're doing a good job of staying in the light and trying to stay balanced. I can feel it. You are staying very grounded, which is really important around this time. Um, but some of you I can feel are getting pulled into that um, dark, um, lost, oppressive energy. Uh, so just be mindful of that. A lot of Aries energy just hit me too. A lot of Aries, oh, that's probably Mars. Yeah, that's Mars, because Mars is also in another fire sign right now. Yeah, Mars energy just came in. Um, some of you might feel really affected by Mars. That might be because of other placements you have, if Capricorn is not like your rising or your sun. 
Um, but Mars is playing a big influence in your life right now, Cap. All right. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th? There's that damn magician again. <laughs> Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio, divine masculine energy. Yikes. All right. He's very persistent. He or she it can be, I'm just saying he because it's, you know, a man in the image, but it can also be a female. Um, very persistent. They're very persistent, Capricorn. Wow. Their energy is very intrusive. Very intrusive. Um, their aura is really strong. Their aura is really strong. Wow. Okay. Any other messages for Capricorn? <clears throat> Regarding love, July 5th to the 14th. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th? Let's see what we got here. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that sadness is definitely the magicians. Um, but it's in reverse right now, Scorpionic energy. So they're trying to manifest again. They don't want to be in this depression over you. They don't want to feel sad about you. They don't want to feel loss over you. They'll never admit it, though. This magician would never admit it. They can barely admit it to themselves, let alone another person. Um, but they've had to accept it in order to get out of it. You understand what I'm saying? And I talk about that with healing. It's like, you can't really heal unless you accept what's going on, right? And this person's accepted it, finally, is what I'm hearing. Finally, this person's accepted it, and they made a choice to try to get out of it by trying to manifest something with you or a conversation with you. But again, Capricorns, you're focused on your happiness. Let's see what else we got. Any other messages for Capricorns regarding love, July 5th to the 14th? Any other messages for Capricorns regarding love, July 5th to the 14th? Oh, wow, that's it, Capricorns. A three, whoa, a three card reading and overall energy. We have the two of wands, Aries energy. Underneath that, we have the ten of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. You know, I gotta be honest, Cap. You and this magician are marrying each other a little bit because they were in they were in a mode of like, what do I do about this? OK, I need to accept this so that I can try to manifest a way out of it. And now you're in decision mode here, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like they're I feel like you're going to have a confrontation with this person. You're going to have a confrontation with this person and it's going to put you in indecision mode about them. OK, Aries energy, by the way, as well. So it's funny I was picking up on that. Let's get into this Nine of Cups, which is your, you know, wish fulfillment, joy, feeling emotionally fulfilled and on, on an individual level, even a little bit of indulgence, you know, maybe you're realizing like, hey, you know what, I've got a lot more than maybe I realized I had and you're enjoying that. Let's use Rider Waite to clarify the Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th time is it okay well i just gotta keep track on time i got a lot of stuff going on today <laughs> tell me about nine of cups for capricorn regarding love july 5th to the 14th okay tell me about nine of cups for capricorn regarding love july 5th to the 14th tell me about nine of cups Damn it. Ten of swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Uh, you're trying so hard, Capricorn. You're trying so hard to stay positive. But damn, look at all those swords in your back. This person definitely betrayed you. Or at least you feel betrayed by this person. You feel like they'll just betray you again. Which is why it came out behind the two of wands. Because it's it's putting you in indecision. It's like, I don't, I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Tell me about nine of cups for Capricorn. Some of you, this is a, a business proposal that's coming in from this person. Others, it's love. Most of you, it's love. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Some of you, you're dealing with a family member. A very masculine, very masculine energy, excuse me, regardless of gender. God, these cards want to talk. More, less cards, please. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th. Whatever happened between the two of you, it was really painful. It was really painful, Capricorn. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups. You know, Capricorn, I'm getting the sense that that energy I was picking up on in, in initially, the very first one I talked about, like, 
knowing the ship is going down and it's like, how do I get out of this with the least amount of loss? For some of you, that's the magician. For some of you, it's the magician. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Capricorn regarding love, July 5th to the 14th. Let's see what we've got here. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. And then we have, oh my God, the Ten of Wands in reverse. You guys, you guys, you have three tens. The only clarifiers to come out are three tens. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. I cannot believe what I am looking at. <laughs> I seriously cannot believe what I'm looking at. Capricorn, you are at the end of a cycle. Some of you have already closed this cycle out because you're trying so hard to focus on your happiness. Um, some of you might have lost money in the process. Yeah, some of you might have lost money in the process. But you're not letting it get you down. There's better things ahead. You know that. You know that. I just heard that. There's better things ahead, and you know that. Overall energy, we do have Page of Pentacles in reverse. Underneath that, the Ace of Pentacles. In, my God, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Underneath that, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Jesus. Uh, Taurian energy over here. Who? Uh, whoever this Page of Pentacles is, they fucked up. They fucked up. That's what I'm getting here. It's like there's, and that's what, oh yeah, that's why they're coming in. That's why the all these eyes are on you right now, Capricorn, because you've been through the ringer. You have been, look at, look at all these dens. You have totally been through the ringer. Some of you financially, business-wise, relationship-wise, family-wise, like in, for, bleh, regarding your foundation, your stability, you've fucking been through it and you're still standing, okay? You're still standing, you're still staying positive, you're staying focused on, on exactly what it is you need for yourself, which is exactly what you need to do here. Um, but this page of Pentacles, some of you is the same as the magician, others it's it's that other person I was talking about, long lost friend, long lost lover here, um, realizing how badly they fucked up because they see how happy you are. I, I cannot believe I'm looking at the three times, sorry, I still can't get over that. I still can't get over that. Um, but you're trying so hard to stay focused. Stay focused, Capricorn. Do not let this dark energy coming in from these people coming back or these people trying to fuck up your happy. Don't let that take you away from your focus. You have it right now. Just stay focused. Let's look at this. Ugh. I almost said motherfucker. Oh, said it anyway. Uh, let's look at the magician. Let's look at this magician. Ugh. Capricorns, you really needed the reading. I can, you really needed this reading. Okay, let's look at the Five of Cups in reverse. Using Gilded Tarot to clarify. So I have Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. July 5th to the 14th. Tell me about Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. July 5th to the 14th. You're still standing, Capricorn. Don't let anyone convince you you're not, okay? I know where this is challenging energy during this time, but hang in there. Stay focused. Tell me about Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. July 5th to the 14th. All right, that feels good. Tell me about Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Oh. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. They're realizing they have to let go of the burden. All right, that's what this magician is realizing. To get out of this depression over you, this sadness over you, they have to let go of burdens that they're carrying, and I feel like they're burdens of the past. I feel like they're grudges, to be honest with you. Either grudges they've had with you or grudges they've had with other people. It's like the amount of times people have made them feel out of place or hurt or into anytime they felt bad essentially anytime anyone played a role in making them feel shitty about themselves is a burden to them and they've been holding on to that in Capricorn I, I get the sense that that had a role in whatever happened with you and this magician but they, they're realizing they need to let that go yeah I'm feeling dark night of the soul energy over here all right let's see what else we got with this five of cups in reverse tell me about five of cups in reverse for Capricorn Tell me about Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Regarding love, July 5th to the 14th. Tell me about Five of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, 
Okay. Now we have King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air, with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card, definitely your energy, Capricorn. This person is looking at you like, oh, damn, she looks single and happy. How do I fuck up her hat? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How do I get, <laughs> how do I get in there? How do I get in there? How do I get Capricorn? And it's funny because you're both in Earth energy, regardless of what your signs are, you know, regardless of like what your sun signs are, um, you're both in very earthy energy, very grounded energy, and they cannot take their eyes off of you and they want to make you their queen of pence. This person's a little cocky though. I'm getting, I'm getting that song, um, Upgrade, Upgrade You by Beyonce. I know that's like, that's an older song, totally dating myself. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun to that song. Anyway, let me upgrade you. Hmm. Capricorn, my Capricorn females I know are like, excuse me? <laughs> I don't need to be upgraded, thank you. Um, but that's how the, that's how this king is looking at this knight of pence. And again, regardless of gender, right? It's like, let me upgrade you. Let me upgrade you. Let me, let me make you a queen. Let me make you an empress. That's what they want. That's what they want to do. It's a little arrogant, though. It's a little arrogant. Yeah. Overall energy for the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Knight of Pence in reverse. Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. Oh, man. See, okay. This person really wants to come in, but they have a lot of growing to do. They've got a lot of growing to do, and they know it. They know it, and I think they're still in the process of releasing all of these past burdens in order to, you know... Oh! Wow, drop to Capricorn, hold on a second. To come in and claim you, so to speak, claim you. Yeah, they, I just keep getting upgrade, upgrade. Let me upgrade you. Let me take you shopping. It's like this, you know, stuff like that. Like, let me pay for everything. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel you guys are like, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's a little old fashioned. This person's a little old fashioned, but to be honest, I also get the sense that they feel that way out of a need to kind of control the situation. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, careful with this magician Capricorn, especially my female Capricorns. I mean, this can apply to either gender, of course, but careful with that, because I do feel it's a, it's a way to kind of control the situation. Like, if I can get Capricorn, if I can get Capricorn to rely on me, then I got Capricorn, you know? It's, yeah, I'm not really liking it, to be honest with you, but hey, to each their own. Everyone likes their own thing, to each their own. Um, but Capricorn, just stay focused. Just stay focused, especially those who have a couple people coming at them, where for some it's like a old, you know, lost person from the past and it's a magician. Just stay focused on you and your happiness. You know, it's interesting, Capricorns, because you've really come out of a major cycle here um, where it just was awful and painful. And I do feel for some of you it's because of this magician. And now you're at a place of nines. Now you're at a place of nines. But that's only because you're really satisfied within yourself. You know, hold on to that. Hold on to that. That's precious. And they can't take that away from you either. Okay. I think it kind of threatens them a little bit, but they can't take that away from you. All right. Let's see what else we got for you, Capricorns. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Especially, like I said, for some of you that like the ship is going down. I gotta recoup my loss. I feel like that's definitely, for a lot of you, that's coming off the magician here. And it's like, it makes me wonder why they're really looking at you now, you know? It's like, especially if they're about to lose everything. Do they real? not everything, but I'm about to lose out on something big. Do I really, do they really have the resources to do that for you? You know, that's the other thing I'm wondering. It's like, it just feels really arrogant. It just feels really arrogant. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any, oh, oh, I just got a download about those who are in business or those who are working on something for their business. Don't, I don't want to say don't trust this magician business wise, but business wise, if you've already been working on something and it's working out beautifully and you can see the progress, you're like, all right, we're doing good, we're doing good. I would be very wary of this magician making you a business proposal or if like if they want to invest in whatever it is that you're working on, please be very mindful. Be very wary of that if this is business for you. Any advice for Capricorns? All right. 
Oh, very nice. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. 48, that breaks down to a three here. This is having a new perspective about things, um, coming into something that maybe you don't have a whole lot of experience with. Um, but Capricorn, I feel like it's actually asking you to just be open-minded as far as what changes may be coming into your life, okay? Um, we are in a month of some serious change because of these eclipses, and you're no exception to that. So, excuse me, so even if things are going really, really well, you might still get some curveballs, but just take it in stride and just know that everything's a learning experience. So if you are a Capricorn who's like, the ship is going down, what do I do? Hey, it's happening for a reason. And it's probably going to work out for the better long term for you. Okay, eclipses push us in and out of situations, they cause towers to get us to where we need to be. So whatever's coming in Capricorn change wise, change wise, they're really emphasizing that with me. Um, take on that perspective. And you know what, it's a learning experience. Let me see what I can learn out of it. Okay, Let's see what else we got. Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Ooh. Ooh, Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Oh, you got another three. You got two threes, Caps. <laughs> you got three tens. You got two threes so far. Let's see what else we've got. Um, but this is, a, you know, speaking your truth, being true to who you are. I'm also hearing be very careful in your communications, um, which makes sense, actually. I forgot Mercury Retrograde. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> Um, be very careful in your communications. Be very strategic. Be very tactful. You know, and Mercury's going through it too. It's like Mercury is in Leo right now, but it's going it's it's going to be retrograding. And once it retrogrades, it's going to retrograde back into Cancer. Um, and when Mercury's in Cancer, people get a lot of anxiety. <laughs> People get a lot of anxiety, um, but when Mercury's in Leo, it's like people get really ballsy with their communication as well. So as we're doing, you know, going through this transit, it would be very wise to be very careful with the, with your words, okay? I'm surprised the parent one isn't out for this one because it is about being honest in your communication, but in a very graceful way. Don't lose your head. Don't get heated. Some of you, like I said, are in that situation of the ship is going down and you might feel very pushed to be very forceful with your words or you might get even very triggered or angry so just be mindful of that okay you can speak your truth but just try to do it tactfully and strategically now we have owl spirit you see clearly now 43 breaking down to a seven i felt in, like i said i was feeling intuition with you guys you know what's coming you know that there's some sort of shit storm coming whether you're you're you have to jump ship or whether this magician is coming back in you can feel a change coming don't ignore what you get intuitively especially with neptune going retrograde it's really important we pay attention to our downloads um they're they're showing us a lot they're showing us a lot okay and then your intuition is only going to help you here okay they're, it's basically helping get prepared for what's coming all right and like i said for what's coming some of you, the ship is going down. Others, this magician is, is trying to intrude back in. And others, you're having a magician and a page of pentacles energy trying to intrude back in here. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns? All right. And then we have, oh, probably the most perfect card for this for you guys. Elephant spirit. Learn from the past. You got a 25. You got, oh my God, you guys. Oh, Capricorns. You have two threes, two sevens, and three tens. And a seven and a three make a what? A 10. <laughs> okay, crazy synchronicities. Anyway, overall advice, learn from the past. And we already kind of picked that up a little bit, right? It's like, you've been through it. You just gotta stay focused. And especially if this, for this uh, magicians, a lot of you, you have a big history with them and they're coming back in. Learn from your past with this person. Learn from your history with this person, okay? To steer you in the right direction along with your intuition. If you can really learn from your past mistakes with this person or just in life along with using your intuition, you're going to handle this just fine, okay? You're going to handle the careful communication just fine. You're going to handle taking a new perspective or keeping an open mind about what is coming you will do just fine, Capricorn. And you will stay focused on your happy and you will maintain your happy. You just have to stay focused. Stay focused, stay grounded into your intuition and make sure that you really learn from your past mistakes here, okay? When this person comes in or when you when the ship goes down. Even if you are in indecision mode now, you won't stay there. You won't stay in indecision forever, okay? Oh, Cappies. I don't even know what to title this. <laughs>
Shitstorm? Maybe just Shitstorm. Oh, no. Buffalo Soldiers. That's what I'm going to title this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night. Namaste, Caps.